Yesterday, I watched Dungeons and Dragons, and literally after the movie, I just wrote down this review, and I have one thing I need to tell you. You have to watch it. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is one of the many films coming out this year that I received my hope for the future of cinema. Gone with the bad superhero films and in with the other franchises that general audiences should learn to love. Some examples are Scream 6, Bullet Train, and Puss in Boots. Even though that came out in 22, I watched it this year. But this film is just another good story, great performance, beautiful image, and a good time that I think everybody should watch. In other words, this movie is downright funny, looks good, and has an amazing cast. And don't worry, you don't need to know any extensive lore to enjoy this film. Oh, and before I get into this, I want to say thank you for the support on my Kill a Kill video. So many views and so many new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Uh, maybe we can get more from this video or um, if you guys could watch my Wednesday video. If you haven't, just check it out. Leave a like, comment. Okay, 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 here we go. So, first off, some people might call it MCU humor, and I do think some of the jokes don't land. But overall, I didn't groan at anything. All of the main characters are likable, and any time they got to say something, I was happy. There are some jokes that seem like they're there for the trailer, which is okay. I remember there's a scene where they ask a corpse a bunch of questions, and they showed that in a trailer when I was watching Scream. Uh, and that sold me on the film, it was hilarious. Of course, some other people might not like that type of humor, but there are other jokes too that I think will stick with other people. Overall though, the jokes aren't the worst part of the movie, and I think if you see this as a fun fantasy heist movie, you'll enjoy them. But don't let me discourage you or have you think that most of the jokes are just okay. This film is hilarious. Even if it's just line delivery or blocking, it's really funny. Now I mentioned the characters, which I'll get into later, but I want to talk about how good this film looks. A lot of the shots are planned out, and you can really tell. If you watch a Marvel movie and then this one, you will see the difference when a director actually gets to plan out their movie, rather than just doing what Previs tells them to do. There are tons of practical effects and makeup, which is insane for a movie with such fantastical elements, but they still manage to pull it off, which elevates the film so much. I also like the set pieces and the costumes, they're very well made and actually colorful. So many movies these days are a desaturated or gray color. I remember watching some scenes and thinking, are they going to hit every color on the rainbow? Because the way some scenes are lit was just so good. And also, there's this one shot that has two vanishing points that's early in the film. You'll know when you see it, but that just showed me that this film wasn't playing around. And also the music is so good and it's really good in the action sequences which are also really good good is my favorite word today i didn't really look up any synonyms <laughs> anyway uh the action sequences aren't choppy or hard to see like other more popular movies uh and the hits really do feel like they land i mean some people get tossed thrown different characters also have different fighting styles the same way they would in the actual tabletop game which makes the film so much more interesting and we get to see their styles play off in the end together also, the themes of this movie are really sweet. I won't get into them due to spoilers, but from a storytelling perspective, this film doesn't lack depth. Okay, now to talk about the amazing cast. When I tell you they're amazing, I mean it. Even the villains have charisma, and the one that doesn't is a solid villain. Everyone feels perfectly cast, and it's fun seeing Justice Smith do more nerdy roles. He's like the go-to guy for this stuff. I mean, Jurassic Park, Detective Pikachu. For some reason, my mom said I could be him. Okay, I mean, I'll take it if it means I get to hang out with Sophia Lillis. Speaking of Sophia Lillis, did I mention how cool she is? I think I have a problem. It's like a new girl every week at this point. If I end up releasing my video essay on the Scream franchise, uh, <clears throat> let me know if y'all are interested. <clears throat> you'll see how obsessed I can get. But yeah, she's my favorite just because she's like, I mean, look at her, y'all. Uh, did I mention it's March 40th? <laughs> Besides Slafia Lillis, the rest of the party do amazing, too. Chris Pine also has a great singing voice, which I'm not surprised about since he did a whole album for Spider-Verse singing Spider-Man-themed Christmas music. And the movie really feels like a party of players running around a map, rolling dice, and collecting relics while doing what the DM says. It's so cool, y'all. Oh, also, there are more non-human creatures here than Star Wars, which is... Really nice. 
Overall, you will fall in love with this movie even from the characters and how good the world looks. I know I fell in love with my new world. Anyway. This is an amazing movie that you should definitely watch if you're curious about it, or if you have the time, you should watch because it's just so fun. So please, watch Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves so they make more movies like this. I need a sequel at least. It's such a good time, y'all. My mom didn't even fall asleep. So on that note, I'm gonna give this film a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, let me know what other films I should review, or if you guys want me to post my review of the Scream franchise. I could also review some video games. Got Resident Evil 4 remake downloaded, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and make my character for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, maybe I'll, I'll post a script on Letterboxd. And uh, yeah, guys, just uh, thank y'all. And leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment what you wanna see next. I'll see you later, peace out. Yeah, I'm up with Santa B, you got